Good afternoon and welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Check out this little beauty. Haven't seen one of these in a while. Let me fix my glove here. Hold on. What we have here is what's left of a Super Chrome Poison Pinto. This one here was sent in from Scott and Kathy in Ohio. They sent me a box that had a bunch of cool projects in it, so thank you very much. Namaste. And this is one of them. When I saw this thing, I was like, hell yeah, we gotta build that. We haven't done one of those in a while. So, like I said, this one was a Super Chrome. You can see it's got this extra bit of shine to it. So, unfortunately, I don't have the technology to match that chrome paint, so we're gonna make another version of the car that's super popular. This would be a fun project. Open windows. Drag car, right? Poison Pinto drag car. Got some replacement wheels. We'll throw on some nice red lines. And of course I got some big booty Judy's for the back. Yeah. One thing I'd like to do is glue Jimmy's trailer down. It's so hard to shoot those little stop motions because they just like, exactly. Jimmy's head is die cast and he just fell over and pushed the trailer off the cinder blocks two inches. So that's what I deal with. So a little quick backstory on Marco here. He's Jimmy's right hand man and he drives the truck. So Jimmy's the boss, Marco's the employee. Anyways, we should probably get going on this thing for those of uh, for those of you who aren't interested in my little stop motion fantasies. We'll do a car restoration here. All right. This thing's pretty crusty, but let me um we'll just drill this out a little bit. Here. Can't believe this drill is still going. By some miracle. Do 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 do. Eek. How does she look? Clean. No pubes in this one. Usually the ones from the 70s are the worst because everyone's got a huge bush, right? All right. It's looking pretty good. This interior looks nicer than the one we worked on last time. Come on, baby. Get out of there. Beautiful. Last time we worked on one of these, there was like hardly any chrome left on here. And we discussed this little tool kit in the back, you remember? It's like, oh, this is everything you need if you're like on the racetrack. You know, you got spare lug nuts, torque wrench, tow chain. <laughs> Wait, Jesus, I love Korean food. So this should be a pretty easy little build here. Thinking I might chrome this rear bumper though. Eh, maybe not, I don't know. It's a race car. Definitely got to clean that green paint off of there. Just had a bit of a brainstorm while I was sitting here waiting for that uh, paint stripper to do its thing. So I think I'm going to do a wheel upgrade on this. And then we can finally customize this little hauler. And then maybe we could do some jobs with this thing. Picture flames on the front of this thing. Hell yeah. The bed isn't a tilting bed. So it's not going to be as fun, but it's still going to be cool because we get a hot rod to sing out because it's old, right? So we'll do this on an upcoming video. I'll try to get these wheels swapped out here in the next day or so. And uh, this thing won't look so ridiculous. So that's cool. Side project. Look forward to that. Wash away your sins, Pinto. And so there's our body. Gonna go ahead and get this into some hot water with some soap and get it cleaned up and I will be right back. You know, I love the fact that I get a second shot at doing this car. The first one didn't come out as minty as I wanted it to. It looked pretty good on camera, but this one's gonna be perfect. This back end could use some little We'll work there. I'll probably just blend all these casting lines all in into one nice smooth back end, I think. Hell yeah. I'm going to make a whole series. It's going to be like Ernest. It's going to be like Jimmy goes to college. Jimmy scared stupid. Jimmy plays back. <laughs> There's gonna be a whole franchise. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is looking pretty good now. Say she's ready for paint. You know, it'd be cool. We should build the Mirth Mobile. That'd be fun. Think about it. 
Check this out. This is uh, just uh, one of my Createx primary colors. Limelight green, it's called. That's almost exactly what we need. So let me let me compare. All right, check it out. So that's what we're making right there. My color is definitely a little bit lighter. That's all right. We can darken it up. So let us uh, let's mix a little paint here. I got a little kip. Got a shtick. I think we'll probably just be able to tint it down with a little bit of that. Little ladies. Put a little bit of that. And somewhere in between these colors, we'll get a poison pinto green. And give this one final good degreasing before we go painting, but yeah. I'm ready to go, so I'll meet you in the paint booth. Hell yeah, man. Here's our little body, looking good. Oh boy, you know what time it is. Last time I used this stuff, there was an accident. I'm pulling that down just a hair. Ooh, that's a full thing of microsaw right on the crotch. All right, I think we're ready to do some decals here. And get this one soaking a little bit. Slurp, slurp. That's what we want right there, baby. So we're gonna put a little bit of this here micro set on top of these decals. And once they dry, everything should be nicely vacuumed to the body. Pimp, that went on real nice. I like that one. So we're gonna just flip this around and dive right into the other side. Do, 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 do. Somewhere in here. Nice curve on that there, we well like that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Fluff out of there. Sweet, I'm gonna let that just sit there, just perfect. I'm gonna go have a coffee, gonna have a nice little morning. So I got all the paint scraped off our motor here. It came off pretty easy, actually. Click, 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 click. As always, we'll just use a little bit of liquid chrome. And we're just going to give this thing a bath. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This pen's getting old. She's not chroming like she used to. Sweet, so I'm gonna go throw this in the paint oven and I'm gonna leave this in there for the duration of, um, well, until we do an assembly, really, so it could be, could be hours, but I'm trying to be mindful not to tape over my 
decals. I've done that before. Put some tape on a fresh decal, and then when I went to go peel the tape off, the decal came with it. Even after I thought it was dry. These kind of things can happen, so you always got to be on your toes. This model of uh, Hot Wheels never came with tail lights, but seems so empty back here. I might as well get something going. That's looking pretty good, man. Make myself a little blast shield here. I'm just going to protect my... Protect the Pinto. So here's our Pinto. I did some real basic details on the front. You got some basic tail lights. I decided I'm going to clear coat our rear bumper. So I sanded and got all the paint off it. Got it nice and smooth. And so I'm going to clear coat it and it'll be a nice shiny black to go with our paint. So let's head to the spray booth and we will clear coat this thing. Glee, 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 glee. We are back from clear coat. Check this beautiful thing out. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm just getting ready to do an assembly here. Here's our base. All they've really done is clear coated that back bumper. Got some fresh blades. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chrome interior, nicely dried, ready for assembly. So let me do this thing and then we'll do a reveal. Hell yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful. Let's get it up on rotisserie. Well, there you go, folks. That is one restored Poison Pinto. Pretty sharp looking little drag car, I would say. Definitely a fun project and a nice little restoration for a Friday. Check out XMC Racing. The track well underway. Andy has done a lot of engineering on numerous things like bridges, roadways tunnels. He's got it all figured out so uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. You go over there and check it out and hopefully soon we'll be doing some downhill racing on our track. Also gonna have a new installment of Adventures with Jimmy this weekend so you can look forward to that and the next car video will be on Monday. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. We'll see you in the comments. Take care. See you later.